Hey everybody, I just realized I haven't made a video in so long, in like years, well, weeks. <laughs> so, I'm here to give you a new update on my life, um, starting with yesterday. It was Earth Hour yesterday, did anybody of you did that? Well, we tried to, although we were extremely dependent on electricity apparently, so we didn't make it through the whole hour. Um, I still love the pictures. I'm kind of sad that I didn't live in like this big city or you could, like Sydney or something where you could just see it. But yeah, my neighbors didn't really do it. <laughs> but it was so fun. We had like candlelights. And then the day before, I had this really awesome semi formal, formal. You know, people dressed up and like fancy food and clubbing. <laughs> Good times. Looking through it. Looking through it. Looking through it. And, um, yeah, I've also sadly to report that I've gone back to studying this week for finals because they are huge. It is so much and they're like really heavy weight, if that's how you call it. And I'm not used to that because my university has eight week periods, so it's only a short period of time that you have to study for. This is like a whole semester. But yeah, I still have a month left, so should be fine, but still slightly freaking out already. And, but the good thing is, because the weather has been amazing in the past days, I've been able to study in places like this. Or this. Which makes it so much better. Although, it's also quite easy to get distracted and just... Like, the weather has been really good, but it has been like one day amazing, one day bad. It was really grey. And yesterday, it was really good, and the day before that, it was the same as now actually and then I went with my um with another exchange student here a friend of mine we went to the old fort of Kingston to do some local sightseeing because we realized that we went to on all these trips which are really cool but there is quite a lot to see here as well because apparently Kingston was the first capital of Canada it has some like defense mechanisms against the US border you know war of 1812 history nerds for the win. Um, but yeah, because it was so close, it got dangerous, so they transferred everything to Ottawa. But they still have like the defenses here, and it's really weird to see, because you had this few of these towers, like with the red thing, and this one fort. And apparently that was enough to stop the US Army in the early 19th century. Which is crazy if you think about it now. But yeah, it was really interesting to see. It was kind of off season, so it was completely deserted, so we were kind of you know, sneaking in, and suddenly there was this huge guy walking onto us, like, hey, what are you doing here? Like, you know, looking around. <laughs> but we had to buy a ticket, but the ticket offices were closed, and apparently we had to go into this really crazy dungeon-like room to the security guard, which was a bit creepy. But still, it was a lot of fun. Really pretty, it was like on an island, on the lake. And yeah, that has been about everything last week, and the week before that are really not interesting because it just consists of me writing papers, and you don't want to know about that. That was about it, I guess. I will see everybody soon. Bye-bye.